Mr. Key. Hello. Simpson Hoffman Partners. Indeed. Welcome to ACO on Air. Thank you. And thank you for your time. Uh, we're fascinated to hear what you're going to be talking about a little bit later in your Petit Kucha talk uh, in conjunction with the NLA. And I uh, hope you're going to be able to give us a little bit of insight. Could you just perhaps begin by giving us um, a little bit of insight as to your practice and your background? Okay, it's Simpson Hoff. Um, started out in Manchester almost 28 years ago. Ian Simpson and Rachel Hoff, uh, the senior partners. Um, now we've got two offices, one in Manchester, one in London. Um, we've got staff of over 100. Um, a staff of over 100. Um, we're doing very large projects both in Manchester and in London. My background primarily working in Scotland, but I've been working down here for over two years now. And uh, I think as we were talking about earlier, it was it was the it was the the work that brought me down here. An economic migrant. <laughs> I think I said that. Yes. <laughs> but um, uh, so at the moment, you again you're working on the Battersea. Project. I'm going to call it the Battersea Project, and in the hopes that you're going to enlighten me a little further as to what all of that entails. Because yes, everyone says, "Oh, you're working on Battersea," I immediately think of the power station. I'm working on Phase One, which is a new build project, which is part of the Battersea Master Plan. Battersea Power Station itself is Phase Two, and it's currently on site. You'll, see, you'll start to see the chimneys going down, or one of the chimneys going down. In the near future. No, one of the chimneys is down is now. Down. Yeah. And it soon will be rising up, hopefully. So. But again, that's not our job. So you're working on, on the wider. Um, we're aspect working. Of it. Yes, we're working on phase one. There's there's a number of different phases. Um, phase one is a very large residential unit which sits between the bar, the power station and the railway line. If you're familiar with the with the site, so it's 850 units in total. So it's a very large development. That's phase one. Phase one. And when can we expect phase two? Phase you know? two, um, they've started doing the, the, a lot of the, the, the works with the chimney, and that's going to take quite a while. The architects have been appointed, so they'll be working on that. Phase three, the architects have been appointed now as well. That's Foster and Geary, and that includes the tube station the extension of the Northern Line. The subsequent phases have not yet been announced. Yet. So it is truly underway at last? Yes, after a long time, you're right. And. Um, and, and, and the sort of challenges that you're facing and the things that you're dealing with in, in an environment like that, in this big urban setting with all sorts of pressures in, in terms of uh, planning restrictions and, uh, and the like, let alone build buildability, yeah. what, what sort of issues are you facing? I mean, the, in terms of planning, the master plan stipulated a lot of the architectural language that had to be in to be employed in, in the development. Also, a lot of the planning parameters, i.e. heights and volumes, were all dictated within the, the, the Benoli master plan. So we've had to work within that to maximise it. Obviously, our client was keen to maximise that given volume in terms of number of apartments, quite rightly so. So we've been pushing that pushing that envelope all this time to, 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 that, to that end. And, and the, the particular challenges you face, just... I think the particular challenge is, is part of um, the geometry of the building, is it, yeah. it's, a, it's a very long building, it's over a third of a kilometre long and it's 18 storeys tall at its highest. It also, four, the storeys slip and slide in, in relation to one another in four storey blocks, so the ge geometrically it's quite complex. So the interfaces between all these different materials is very complex. So that's one of that's a challenge. The other challenge is obviously to deliver our concept in the first instance. And now we've started to see some of the unitized panels being delivered on site and installed. We're starting to see that we think what we've got is we're very we're very pleased with it and we think that we're we're going to deliver what exactly what we were after. Which is a challenge always. And, and that's really your particular function on working on the facade. And yeah, I, I'm I'm the envelope lead, so I um, yeah, anything involved with the external envelope of the building, I will be involved. And many won't realise it, but that's the most exciting part of the architectural. I project. think I told you that earlier as well. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, it's truly one of the the most um, interesting projects in London. In the UK, currently, yeah. currently. it's probably um, one of the largest facades. I mean, it's there's there's 
450,000 square feet of glass going into this building. Wow. I mean, it is an enormous undertaking. An exciting prospect. And um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, there's a lot more we could talk about. We're going to pick up with your picture future a little bit later. Well, I hope that goes well. And we, yeah, a big challenge in itself. That's maybe another, another greater, challenge. Maybe greater than the, the Battersea yeah, possibly. project. Um, but uh, we'll look forward to that and learning a little more. And uh, that'll be filmed and then available on ACO on air uh, a little later. So, Alistair, thank you very much. You're for your welcome. Time.